Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to share with you some items that I have picked out of my collection and have decided that I would like to really concentrate on using up this year. So I'm calling it my 2017 Project Pan or Project Use Up. And because some of the things um, I don't necessarily want to hit pan on, I want to actually finish up. But anyway. Um, I have a little bit of skincare and some makeup, and since it's 2017, I picked out 17 items to start with. And I'll do like I did last year. Um, as I finish up, I'll start adding in things also with, and throughout the year, so it won't get too much redundant. So let me let me start with makeup. I did pull out some makeup. Um, the first thing is this little guy here from MAC. This is the. Um, Aphrodite shell and it was from a collection from MAC um, extra dimension bronzer decided I wanted to go ahead and finish this up I have made a pretty good little indention here in it already um, so I want to go ahead and finish it up and get it out of my collection not that it's bad or anything I just I just want to start really working on using up some of my stuff and when I do I found last year when I did the project pan that it really helped me stay focused on certain items to use up and also a little something different this year also I'm going to do than what I did last year. Last year I had put some items in my project pan that I did not like at all but I forced myself for the whole year to work on those items and to use them up but this year I have decided that after I have these items in my project pan and been using them consistently for at least a good 60 days that if it's something that I just despise don't like is not working for me then I am going to declutter it and take it out of my collection I'm not going to put myself through torture of using something that I don't like so we have that and then the next thing I have is this from Tom Ford and it is the Eliminating Powder in Translucent Pink and it looks like Kiss here. I've already hit major major pan on it and I would just like to finish it completely and be done with it. Um, I use this to set underneath my eyes which I probably shouldn't because it's not very good for that but I do want to finish it up and get it out of my collection. It was expensive so I, I definitely want to finish that up. Then I have pulled out a MAC item. This is a paint pot in soft ochre. It is starting to um, kind of pull away from the sides. It's kind of it's starting to dry up, but I've already hit pan on it. I've been using this um, since the beginning of the year and I've already hit pan, but I want to continue to use it and use it up before it completely dries and is no longer usable. Another cream product is this eyebrow product, and this is from It Cosmetics, and it's the Build a Bride, Build a Bride, no, not Build a Bride, Build a Brow in Universal Taupe, and I pulled this out because it's starting to dry up too, but I have already been using this quite a bit. I don't know if you'll be able to tell how it's kind of cracking up here on the top but anyway I want to um, use this and get that used up before it completely dries up my goal on this is I don't think I would actually use this up in the whole year because I think this would last like a lifetime because it doesn't take much but I do definitely would like to see a significant uh, amount of usage on this so um, possibly maybe just heating pan on that one and then here's another product that um, I start once used to love and use all the time and then quit using it but I want to finish up this powder this is a brow powder and it's called um, browsings is that what it is by um, who is this by um, benefit and it's in the light now this right here is a wax and it's completely dried up I'm, I'm not concerned with using this at all I didn't like it but I do want to finish up using that powder and I have found that these two together because this is a little bit too light this is a little bit too dark but this right here will like darken this up just a tad bit to where I like it so this is a really good combination so 
I'm going to be using finishing up that powder. I think I can do that. It probably take me all year, but I think I can do that. Um, then I have what I'm calling a foundation. This is the Snail Nutrition BB Cream. This is from Skin 79. I've had this for quite some time. Um, I have marked it. Um, from what I can tell, I think it is to here, but it's hard to tell though. I can't really, I don't know. There might be more than that in there because it's one of those containers that's completely sealed up. You don't know how much you've used. You don't know how much you have left. But anyway, I do want to finish this up. And I do have this on today. I mean, it takes a, makes a really pretty foundation. If you like a BB cream, um, these are really good. Um, I got that off of Amazon a while back. Um, probably a few years ago. It's probably expired, to be honest with you. If I could read the expiration. No, it doesn't expire until 2019. 2019, but anyway, I like that. I like that a lot as far as a, a BB cream. Um, another uh, makeup item is this from Maybelline. It's the Adrian Wine um, Eraser, I think is what that's called. But anyway, I want to finish that, and that is the one that's the um, in the radiant color, I think. If I can read it, brightening illuminator. So I want to finish that up. It's about to here. When I get done, the items that I can mark, I will mark as far as you know where I'm at on them, and that way we can kind of um, track my progress. But anyway, I want to use that up, and then I pulled out a deluxe sample size of a primer. This is the Makeup Forever HD High Definition Primer. I want to use that. This shouldn't take me very long to use, so I probably will be um, replacing it with another primer, but we're going to start with that one. And then the last makeup item I have is, I'm counting this as three. Um, so if you're keeping track of how many items I have, I'm, keep, I'm counting this as three products because it has three products in it. But it's from Hourglass and it was the, um, the Ambient Lighting Palette. Anyway, so this guy right here, I have hit major paint on it. That's what I'm using as a highlighter. I have been using it for highlighter um, since back before Christmas. Um, so I want to go ahead and completely finish this guy. These two right here, I would like to hit paint on these, on these two as bronzers. Um, I've also been using these as eyeshadows. They make really good eyeshadows. Um, they also work as a setting powder. There's multiple uses for this product, so I figure I could probably hit pan on these two here on the end and completely use up the highlighter. And that is the highlighter that I'm wearing. And do I have that on as bronzer? No. Okay. So that is it for the makeup items. So now let's talk about the skincare items that I pulled out that I would like to use up. And as I was going through and counting and doing an inventory of all of my goods that I have, um, I've come across some items that have been in my collection for a while that I need to use up. So that's why they these are coming into the project use up. One is this um, deluxe sample size of Colleen Rothschild um, is some kind of um, clarifying detox mask. Um, I don't have a whole lot left to do, but uh, it's been around for a while and I want to finish it up before it dries up. So um, it looks like it may have like maybe two, three uses in it, but I'm going to use that. And then when that's done, then I'll replace it with another type of skincare. Another mask is this one here from Peter Thomas Roth. And this is the Cucumber Gel Mask. And I do really, 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 really well with using sheet masks. But when it comes to like this type of mask where you have to rinse it off, I'm not so good at. And I have quite a few of them. And I don't want it to go to waste because it's, you know, it's expensive. And so I want to start incorporating this into a weekly mask of some sort, at least once a week, maybe twice a week. But anyway, so that's on there. Another Peter Thomas Roth mask that I want to um, work on this year is the Pumpkin Enzyme Mask. Again, this is a really good mask and it's not that I want to use it up just to get it out of my collection because I probably will replace it, but I want to get it used up 
before it dries up and is no longer good. So anyway, well, that smells good. So have that. And then another, this is a peel system. And this guy I have had for a long time. Oh my gosh, for a long time. And I don't know, to be honest with you, when I get started using it, I may find that it may not work but it's from philosophy and it's called the micro delivery peel and you first you have this section here or this step here where it's like a enzyme scrub you put it all over your face you move it around let it scrub a little bit leave it on for a couple of minutes and then you put this activator on it that makes it foam up and so I want to make sure that I am using that up this time too because I don't want it to go to waste it still feels very moist in there, so I think it's still good. So we'll try it. This guy, now this is very, was a very expensive purchase. This is from La Mer. La Mer is the Brightening Lotion Intense. And I just, it's not what I expected it to be. I think is why I'm, I've been very reluctant to use it. It's more like a toner type product. Um, but, not the type of toners that I'm used to, like my clarifying lotion from Clinique. It's more on the lines of a softening, a moisturizing type toner. So I want to make sure I get this used because this is, well, I've marked it, it's to here. It's like almost a brand new full bottle. So we need to, we need to work on that and get that taken care of. And then the last thing that I have is another um, skincare product, and this is the More Pacific. This is a cleansing powder. Um, I have been using this religiously, but it doesn't take very much, and there is a lot of product in here. So if you ever have been looking at this product and kind of was reluctant to get it because of the price tag of it, it's going to last you a long time. But anyway, um, I use this as my morning wash wash my face but anyway I am to here on it so not even halfway but I want to uh, make sure that I use this up before um, it goes bad because just because of the price point of that so anyway so that is it that's my 17 items that I've pulled that I'm going to be working on for the next few months um, I'll do um, periodically I'll do an update of my project pan and show you how I've progressed what I've used up what I'm replacing items with and we'll go from there so anyway thank you so much for joining me today I hope you enjoyed and I'll talk to you soon